Hello, my friends. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a little Stephen King book haul because my mother just ordered me a whole bunch of them. And I have them all on my bed. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that's all of them, but they're, they're also scattered all along my bed, so I don't know. Um, let's just get started. So the first book that I have is a hardcover edition of It by Stephen King, of course. Um, so my paperback edition kind of broke. Um, since it's such a big book, it wasn't like able to hold. And so my mom was reading it and it split down the middle. So she finished that one and ordered me this hardcover edition, which I think this one's better. The paper does feel different, and it does feel weird. It's, like, really, really good paper, though. Um, and I really do like this cover as well. Um, really, really happy that I have this. I've always wanted a hardcover of this book, and this is one of my favorite covers in general for this book, so I'm quite happy that I got this. Next up, I got the Dark Tower series. So in this series, we have book one, The Gunslinger, which is, I've already read this like three times. Um, I just got these today, but I picked it up from my school library and it end, I ended up reading it about three times. Um, this is about this guy named Roland. He's like the last gunslinger in this post-apocalyptic post world. And in this first book, he met up with a boy named Jake, and basically he's just on the hunt for the man in black in the Dark Tower. Um, it was okay. Uh, I definitely want to reread this after I finished the whole series, because I've heard that this um, is better after you've read the whole series. So there's that one. Book number two is The Drawing of the Three, which I live for this cover. I love this. Literally amazing. Uh, this book also has some illustrations. That's a weird one. Uh, there's like some photographs, uh, in this. This is about 400 pages, and, uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this one. I've heard that this one is so much better than the second one. Book number three is The Wastelands. I've heard that this is the best one in the series. This is where the journey really starts off. Um, this one, I believe, also has the photographs. Yeah, it does. That one's really nice. I really like that one. Um, so, I've heard that this one is where it really, really picks up and really starts the journey. So, I'm really looking forward to that one. And then book number four is Wizard and Glass, which is huge, but I do like this cover. This is actually really nice. Uh, I've heard that this is one of the worst books in the series. I've heard that it's just a big um, backstory, which I don't really mind if... There's an illustration. I don't really mind if it's interesting, but if it's just really, really info dumpy, then it's a bit boring. But we'll see uh, how much I like this one. One second, I have to grab the other ones. So I'm actually going to show the Dark Tower series in the way that they're supposed to be read. So you're supposed to read a bunch of books that aren't in the actual series in between books to get like the full Dark Tower experience. I don't have half of those, so I'm not doing that. Um, but you're supposed to read one, two, three, and four. And then... This is supposed to be a novella, but it's in a short story collection, and this is the graphic novel version. That is The Little Sisters of Illyria? Al Al Illyria? Um, this is about the gunslinger, or Roland, uh, who gets taken in by a group of nuns. And, uh, these, like, creatures are trying to get to them, which sounds really cool. 
like I said, it's a graphic novel. There is a novella version of this in the short story collection, Everything's Eventual, which I will be getting soon. Um, that's one of the next ones that I want to get. Um, so you read that one, and then you read... Is this the right that I'm holding it? Yeah. These, uh... Last few uh, Dark Tower books don't have a cover. Um, the Wind to the Keyhole, which is like another novella. You read this between three and five, but after The Little Sisters of Illyria, I think. Um, so you read this. I don't really know what this is about, to be honest. I think it's just... I think it's just, uh, another add-on to the Gunslinger's story. So, this one, I'm interested to see what it is, to be honest. And now, book number five is The Wolves of the Cala, which I actually really like this cover. It looks like somebody in a wheelchair. Um, with, like, something flying, I think. Uh, this is quite a long one as well. This one also has pictures. I think all of these except for the first one have pictures. Yeah. All of these except for the first one have pictures, I think. I haven't checked the other ones, though. Um, this is the fifth book in the, uh, Dark Tower series, so I'm guessing that this isn't gonna be backstory anymore, like this one is supposed to be. Um, this one, I think, is the one that I'm looking forward to reading the most. I don't know why. It just looks really interesting to me. Um, so, yeah. And now we have book six, which is The Song of Susanna. Um, ooh, that is beautiful. That looks like... There's something about doors, because there's a door on this cover, and now there's doors in that section. Okay, I see you. This also has illustrations. Uh, I'm guessing that since this is called The Song of Susanna, I'm guessing there's going to be a character called Susanna introduced somewhere in these books, um, and I'm going to take a wild shot that the Song of Susanna is her time to shine, um, and I'm guessing more about her character. And then we have the final book in the series, The Dark Tower, book seven, which is the finale to the series. I think there's illustrations. Yeah, there's illustrations. I just saw one. I really like that. That is beautiful. I love that. Give me more. <laughs> um, so that's the Dark Tower books. Um, really, really looking forward to reading them. I really think that this is going to be one of my favorite series of all time. And now we have two books that are not Dark Tower books. One of them is related to the Dark Tower series, and there's something in it. I'll get to that. Uh, that's Insomnia. This is about a man named Ralph, I think. Yeah, Ralph Roberts, who has insomnia. And I believe he begins walking around his neighborhood and the city and everything and begins witnessing a bunch of things happen. This is quite a big novel as well, so... I have a lot to do. I have a lot to read. Um, which, I mean, I'm not complaining. The more to read, the better. The more to read, the better. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this as well. Now, the book that I'm looking forward to the most, that I've been wanting to get here the most is Desperation by Stephen King. Obviously. This is about a little town in Nevada called Desperation. 
and I believe there's a sheriff who is possessed by this demon creature thing um, who begins to plant things in people's cars as they drive by and take them to the prison to be held or take them to the county jail to be held captive i'm guessing to be slaughtered later on i've heard nothing but good things about desperation and i'm really looking forward to reading this so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11 new Stephen King books that I have to go put on my shelf now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!